Guard violation of coaching, warning, Mrs. Williams. I can see where you may have thought that, but I want to be clear, I've never got a coaching violation because I don't do it. Serena smashed that one. Guard violation, record abuse, point penalty. You owe me an apology. I have never cheated in my life. And you stole a point from me. You're a thief, too. Guard violation, verbal abuse, gang penalty. It made me feel like it was a sexist remark. I mean, like, how uh, he's never took a game from a man because they said thief. All right, we're not going to relitigate a phrase of yours, I would imagine. <laughs> Everything that happened last Saturday at, at, at the U.S. Open. But we are going to look at what happened in the reactive chamber and through which filters, sexism, racism, whatever, this was all viewed. And uh, it's been fascinating. It really has been. Yeah, I think... What's been most notable for me as I interrogate my own opinion is that I'm scared to actually say it out loud. Because I think... Why? Because if I feel that if I don't agree with Serena and place this in the context of sexism, and if I don't side with that, then I am a bad feminist and a bad former female mm. athlete. It feels... Too much like if I just actually verbalized the, you know, the opinion, like this is two people who made a bunch of mistakes in a row and I don't place it in that proper context, then I lose some sort of card that I've earned over the years. And I, I worry that too much of, and I think we're starting to get away from it, but too much of the reaction to this controversy has been framed through like a very small percentage of people. And that I would say some, like, something like 98% of people are just like, I am not wading into this territory. Because I, so I, it's full of landmines. Yes. Well, it's full of landmines, but I mean, I, I, I think this is less about what she did and the reaction to her. And I think there's a lot more people weighing in on this. Uh, you know, for years, we saw John McEnroe, Jimmy Connors, all these antics on the court, and they were almost viewed with reverence by the American public. Look at these guys speaking their mind. They're not afraid. You know, they're fighting the man. When Serena, who is undisputably the biggest draw in tennis, the reason why people watch tennis, the casual fan other than the people who watch every week, when she has an outburst, it becomes not only about her, it becomes about this larger issue of how she should behave. Why did she have this outburst? The Australian newspaper then publishing these cartoons, it becomes into the racial area yeah. because then it becomes, let's demonize her in a way that is racially inflammatory. What I'm seeing in a lot of this is not only it hitting racial lines, but sexism lines because she is treated differently and because the reaction to her is so overwhelmingly negative by so many people that it's like, wh where was all that with Jimmy Connors and John McEnroe that's and everybody well, else? That's a long time ago, and, and I think... We also it have happens bear, now. There are lots of people who act out on the men's side. And there are people who get side. punished, too, and there are people who yeah. get violations and they get points deducted and they get games deducted. I, I think there are two different issues here, though. It's, you know, the issue is, has there been systemic racism? Has there been systemic sexism in this sport? There is no doubt about that. The question is, is that what happened here? Yeah. And does it excuse what Serena did? And when you have Martina Navratilova, who is an icon in the sport and transcend, transcends the sport as a kind of a spokesperson on so many important causes saying, look, Serena has to shoulder some of the blame here. She says in her in the editorial she wrote, the op-ed for the time, she said, I think the question we have to ask ourselves is this, what is the right way to behave to honor our sport and to respect our opponents? We, and she came down she and said, the same question of Federer, well, Nadal, well, 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 and I, others I, I when they have outbursts. I believe that Martina Navratilova would. And she said that in both those respects, Serena failed. And, and that doesn't mean that the umpire was right. Doesn't mean yeah. there are problems in the sport, but she has to accept some responsibility here. I think as the number one star, she is entitled to every once in a while having an outburst and not being completely vilified for it, whether she's right or wrong. It happens in every other sport, and you have to ask yourself, why does that not happen with her, with all that she has achieved and all that she has done for tennis? And why has tennis never been as popular as it was back in the, what, mid to early 80s when McEnroe and Connors were doing all of this? Yeah, I tell you, that Martina piece, though. In the U.S. In the U.S. In the U.S., certainly. But that Martina piece in the Times gave, I won't say cover, but protection for other people to wander out out into the area of opinionating because it is a dangerous place with all of these other filters through which we look at the story.